Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I thought I'd share with you guys how I make patches for like my jean jacket and stuff. So if you're interested in learning how to make patches like this little guy who I'm currently working on, see? He's not done. Or like these. If you're interested in learning how to make patches like these and how I make them, then just keep watching. Alright, so first things first, you're going to want a cotton-based fabric. I had got this from either Hobby Lobby or Joann's a while ago, I'm not entirely sure where. And you're going to want to cut out a piece big enough for your embroidery hoop. I have a 6 inch embroidery hoop, so I'm going to be cutting out 8 inches by 8 of fabric. Next you're going to need your design. I have this cartoony style of a sapphire gem that I drew myself and I'm going to be taking some charcoal on the back of the drawing, on the back of the paper, you're going to want to fill in where the picture is with charcoal. Make sure you've got the whole area covered because you're going to be flipping it over next and putting it on the fabric. So once you've filled the back of the drawing in with charcoal, you're going to place it over your fabric and put it kind of in the middle of the fabric. And you're going to want to take a pen or a pencil and trace the drawing onto the fabric. This will press the charcoal onto the fabric and leave you with a charcoal imprint of your drawing. Once you have your imprint all done, you can go ahead and put it in your embroidery hoop. Just tighten it up as tight as you can and make sure you pull the fabric tight before and after you put the hoop on so that the design is fully stretched. But make sure that the design doesn't get too warped when you do this. If you have to take it out and do it again, that's fine. You can also take this time to stretch it as much as it needs to be and take the charcoal pencil and just go back over parts of the design that may be a bit faded after you've messed with it for a bit. So for this design, this is what I'm using. I'm using black thread and four different shades of blue for thread. I've also got my tiny little needle there. It's the smallest one that I have and my embroidery scissors. And I'm pretty sure I've gotten all of these from Michaels. Now when you get ready to embroider, you're going to take the thread and I'm going to separate it into two pieces. One big thing of thread is around six little ones, so I use two threads for this design for each triangle and I'm just pulling apart the thread right now and getting the two separate from the rest of them. Thank you. 
for the three sections of this patch and the triangle I'm going to be using the long and short stitch which basically you start at the bottom with a long stitch then a short then long then short and long short but then the next line you just take the short ones and do a long stitch and then the next line you take the other one the other short ones and do a long stitch and then you're just doing long stitches all the way up but alternating with the short and long After a while I realized it was kind of easier to start at the flat end where the triangle is so that's just what I'm doing. I'm switching to the flat end and doing the same long and short stitch.
Now we're moving on to the border and I'm going to be doing the border in black with a satin stitch. You just go start at the outside of the circle and move in and just do that all the way around. At the beginning, I just do a very rough outline just so I can keep in mind where the circle is going to be and then I fill it in later. So here you can see I start to actually fill in the outline, just going back and forth with that satin stitch all the way around until I have the border as thick and as filled as I want it to be. Now you're going to take a sheet of heat and bond and the actual patch itself is only around two and a half inches so I'm measuring three inches of heat and bond to cut out to put on the back of the patch. Once you've got your heat and bond, you're going to iron your patch. I like to iron out just the creases just so it's easier to see actually what I'm working with. And you're going to start on the back and you're going to take that heat and bond. You're going to take the rough side of the heat and bond, press it onto the back and iron it on. You really want to make sure you get the edges pressed down as much as possible. So make, use the iron to press down the edges around the patch on both the front and the back to make sure it's secured. Now we're going to cut the patch out of the fabric and I usually just do a very rough cut at first and then go in more in detail and get as close as I can to the patch without snipping any of the thread. Now to protect the patch, you're going to use this fray check and you basically just put this around the entire edges of the patch and it keeps the edges and the threads from fraying very much just in case you happen to snip one and when you keep it on your jacket or whatever you put it, it keeps it from fraying.
Now you want to go ahead and peel off the backing of the patch and you're going to have the heat and bond on the patch, just like this. Now you wanna go ahead and iron the patch onto whatever item of clothing you're going to be putting it on. I'm putting it on my jean jacket, of course, and you wanna press the iron in. To be honest, this heat and bond, whenever I've worked with it, doesn't wanna stick very well. So you press it in as hard as you can, make sure you do front and back, and this is going to keep it on long enough for me to sew it in. The edges will stick if you heat it up long enough, but you it won't stay forever and you're going to want to sew it in. So now I'm just taking one strand of thread, one strand of black thread, and going around in like a back stitch style of the outline so you can't really see, it's just going to keep it in and it doesn't mess up with the border of the patch itself. I'm also using one of the biggest needles I have because um, denim is a bit harder to get through and especially if you're getting through denim and the fully formed patch. So you're going to want to use a bigger needle for this. Now we're just going to take the last couple stitches, tie off the inside, and then we're done. This is what the patch looks like when it's all finished and it is securely on the back of the jacket. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below if you think you're going to use this method, if you think you're going to try and put this for yourself. And I'd love to see patches you make. If you want to show me on Twitter or on Instagram, you can go follow me over there and show me any of the patches that you make. And uh, that's it for this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye!